Alright guys, we're back to a brand new PDCGO post-rotation deck battle video. I hope you guys enjoyed the post-rotation deck battle videos. It's nice content to upload in, in basically what is kind of the stale period between both sets. You know, for you know, Forbidden Light, now we're waiting for Celestial Storm. You know, standard's pretty stale and boring right now, so it's like... It's nice to upload, you know, content like this where I can still provide fun content. And it's still fresh and new because it's post-rotation, you know, it's looking ahead into the future. Uh, but let's take a look at today's deck, and that is going to be Quad Glacian. It is what I have decided to play today. For the Pulsation deck battle, it was either Quad Glacian or potentially maybe a Buzzwool deck. But I'm going to wait until, you know, something happens and something comes out. But Glacian here is going to be the deck of choice. And I've gone Quad Glacian. I am not playing Zor Glacian. I'm not playing Glacian Lapras. I've just gone Quad Glacian. This is obviously a stall deck. And you, the goal is to hopefully play against Zoark. I will say this. The game that I got is, in, it, it, it is an incredibly intense match. It was a very close game i'm not gonna spoil what happens it was insane though it's it's a very good game you guys will like the game quite a bit um but anyways let's take a look at the deck and the list again it's just quad glacian we're only playing 11 pokemon we're playing four eevees four glacians and we're playing one orangu orangu seems to be the fun card in like these kind of stally deck out kind of decks and of course we got one tapu lele or two sorry not one I, actually i wish i played three in this deck looking back now but we are playing two Lele's with Wonder Tag. And of course, Glaceon's got the ability to Freezing Gaze. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent's GX's and EX's in play have no abilities. So that's insane. So obviously, we're going to be shutting down Trade. We're going to be shutting down Invasion. We're going to be shutting down Tapu Lele's ability. Tap, you know. We're shutting down a lot. So Freezing Gaze is very good. And it's like almost... This deck is like an, almost an auto win against Zoar. Because you will run them out of energy very quickly. We are going heavy. We're playing two... We're playing three Enhanced Hammers. Sorry. Four Crushing Hammers. And we're even playing Steam, Skullgrunt, and Plumeria. I don't like Plumeria that much, to be honest with you. I kind of maybe just want to play one instead of two. Because discarding two cards is actually really big um, and hard to get, pull off. But it's not a bad card. I actually wouldn't mind fitting in the other Ranger in this deck with Instruct. There's a few changes I would make in this deck. I might revisit this deck for a deck battle. Because I actually had a lot of fun with it. Um, but yeah, we'll take a look at the Pokemon. This is basically it. Literally just four Galatian, one Ranger, two Lele. Not much really you could add from Celestial Storm what I, from what I saw. Maybe Delcaddy would be fun in this deck if you want to spam the Skull Grunts, Plumerias. But other than that, it's kind of simple. We'll take a look at the deck. And my non full art supporters that I need to get. I need to get Mars. I need to get a secret repeat from my card. Um, of course, we are playing two Aqua Patch. We don't need to go heavy. I think two is fine enough. It's nice to have when you know you run out of DCEs. Four Crushing Hammers to be able to get rid of opponent's energy. Obviously, it's one of those stall cards. Same with Enhanced Hammer. Without trying to charge or Puzzle of Time in the format anymore. E Hammer is very nice. One field blower. I kind of wish we were playing two looking back, but one is fine enough because it's nice to be able to work tools. We are playing two nest balls. No fan clubs in this deck. We're just going to go two fan, two nest balls. So I think it's perfectly fine. We are playing four ultra balls with that too to be able to search for our leleys and stuff. We are playing one peeking red card. Another really nice card in this deck. Um, your opponent feels their hand. You may have your opponent count the cards in your hand and then shuffle them back. So it's essentially like an, a miniature N except without the prize card. Uh, maybe that can that make no sense. Maybe it's not like N at all, but you get my point. It's a very strong card in these disruption type decks. And we're going to try it out and see if it'll work today. Uh, we got one Stretcher. We'll get our Pokemon. One card, I guess you can remove a Stretcher. Um, we got three Cynthia's for draw. We still need to draw this deck. Uh, we got three Guzmas to knock stuff out. And we are going to get into the disruption now. The first disruption card in the list is Cyrus Prism Star. Something I am going to test out. Your opponent chooses two bench Pokemon and shovels them all. Shovels the other and all cards have them back into the deck. This can be a great disruption card. If your opponent's playing... Like Malamar, this could be big. They might be forced to put a Malamar or two back. Um, Cyrus is great. Now, I think Cyrus Parallel City would be a better combo. Can't pull that off, though. But Cyrus is still really nice to have in this deck. Regardless, we are playing two Judge. A very cool disruption card is going to be Judge in this deck. Um, force your opponent to draw four cards. And again, with Glaceon in the active, they're not going to be able to Lele out of that. So they don't have another draw supporter to stop the Judge spam. I mean, you know, what are they going to do? So Judge is a very, very good card in this deck. Um... We got one Mars, just like I'm trying to draw two cards. Your opponent has to discard a random card from their hand. It's not a terrible card either. Again, they have a low hand size. This can be very big. Um, I wish Delink was still around. We got two Plumerias. A card that I kind of maybe want to run one of. It's really risky to play. But Plumera is very nice to have in this deck. Also, we are playing two copies of Team Skullgrunt to also go along with the whole disruption theme. Uh, we are playing three Choice Fans for the extra 30. Two Escape Boards, Flipstone Replacement, four DCEs. And a total of 8 basic water energy. And this is my Quad Glacian deck in post-rotation. It's actually very fun to play. And you will be surprised how lucky the deck can be. It's a very good, interesting archetype. Again, you want to 
play against decks like Zoark that rely on special energies a lot. Uh, but any deck that takes a turn or two to attack you, you can try and beat thanks to the Cushion Hammer Spam. But we'll get into the game in just a moment. See you guys in the match. Alright guys, here we go. We're going to get into the post-rotation match right now. And we're going to see how it goes here. Just got to find the deck. There it is. That's why I favorited it because I got like 200,000 decks. We'll see what we're playing against. It looks like Sogaleo. We'll see if Quad Glaceon can beat this matchup. This could be big. Obviously, metal beats water. But we'll see what we can muster up. This matchup could be interesting. Hopefully, we win the coin flip and we do, which is nice. Alright, so we'll have to see what we start with here. Um, Alright, so we're going to mulligan, kind of revealing the archetype we are playing. It is indeed a Glaceon Disruption deck. It's Quad Glaceon. Alright, here we go. Let's see what we start with. Alright, we do get the turn one Glaceon, which is good. We do have Lele, so I have the option to Lele for um, potentially a turn one Skullgrunt, which I don't hate, or I can wait for next turn to play Judge. Um, so either one is good, but we will drop down the turn one Glaceon. Um, just gotta check the deck. We got one Enhanced Hammer Prize, which I don't think we're gonna use in this matchup unless he's playing Rayquaza. We got four Crushing Hammers, which is important. We do have our Cyrus's Initiative. We have two Cynthia's, two Judges. We got a Mars. I could actually do Mars this turn. I don't hate that. I can Lele for Mars. Is there relevance to that though? Is, is there a point? I think we wait. We'll do Judge next turn. If I put a Pokemon down, he might, you know, still do his Magalele up. He gets his basic abilities. Um, the nice thing is, though, he can't do Ultra Road with Sogaleo. That's one of the big things about Glaceon. He doesn't have Ultra Road. And Ultra Road is very important in Sogaleo. So, we'll have to see if my opponent's able to do much with that. Thankfully, I did go first. As long as I can get a turn to Frost Bullet off, I should be okay to potentially win. Because, like... These things can't evolve, 90 HP, Cosmo Ems. But the other thing, too, is probably going to need to build up another Glaceon. Uh, once my point to Soul Burst, he'll be able to build up a lot of energy. And that's what I am scared of, Soul Burst. Ooh, Metal Frying Pan. That's going to be big. It's going to be big. Metal Frying Pan is going to be an interesting card. If I can top deck DC, I still not going to be able to do much. My point's actually going to do Hala. Alright, so this is going to draw four cards. So I guess I don't need to judge them then, because they're just getting four cards. They're going to pass. Alright. Uh, we drew a Nest Ball, which is pretty big. We can get a second EV down. I am probably looking for Crushing Hammer and or Field Blowers. And a DC. I should probably check. And there's a DC prize. That's what I was worried about. Alright, we'll put down a Rangaroo. Just thin out the deck. I could pull Maria, actually, if I want. I can get rid of Enhanced Hammer. Maybe the Lele? I don't know. We'll put the Lele down. We'll probably just do Cynthia. There's nothing much else. I mean, he's got four cards. No really need to judge him. I am, of course, looking for a DC. We'll see if we hit it. I do play that Energy Lotto for a reason. All right. We did not find it. Okay, that really sucks. We actually got a bit of a weird, awkward hand here. Might have to do another Nest Ball. We can go into another Glaceon, though. So that's good. Not really, but I would have liked to knock out. Um, I guess we'll have to put down another Eevee. Just thin out the deck a little bit. For now, we we'll have to pass, so unfortunately, we weren't able to find the DC. We only had three in the deck, so I wasn't feeling too confident. This is, this is why I miss Sycamore and I miss N, because you can get you know, Sycamore mainly. I probably would hit the DC off that. Alright, but we'll see what my opponent does here. Um, do they get that turn to Sokaleo? They do. Oh my gosh, that was a holla and a half. Wow. Okay, but it's not the GX. Okay, good. This thing is a little deadly, though. I mean, Shine Arrow can't one-shot me, though, which is kind of nice. They do have a Cynthia. Wow, okay, that was a pretty good Hala. Alright. Maybe I should have judged him, but again, they had four cards. They get a Cosmo down. This is going to be bad. If my opponent is able to build up a lot of stuff, we could be in trouble. Oh, wow. Energy switch, too. Fair play. So, they're going to hit my Glaceon pretty hard here. They're going to do 160 damage. Even if I find DC, I don't know if it's a good top deck. Hands Tamer is pretty useless. Um, I don't know what to do. I think we just... We found another Metal Energy. I just get killed by Fangs of the Sun, but... Maybe I just build up Lele? Well, he'll just Shiny Narrow me. I mean, anything I bring up... I might have to just bring out the Oranguru here when I get the time. I don't know if I want to put three Waters on a Glaceon. I mean... I don't even know if I want to do Resource Management. I'm not really getting back anything I'm looking for. Um, other than that, Cynthia. 
I think we'll attach here. The reason I'm doing this, I could attach to Lele, but I'll get knocked out if I think some, but I just build up a single Glaceon. I can always Aqua Patch to this one. It's actually is a pretty bad matchup, obviously. <laughs> I was hoping I was going to play against the Metal deck. I was actually praying that I was going to play against the Zoark deck. I know a lot of people might want to test out Zoark post so I was like, I'm just going to play Quad Glaceon and see what we can do. I do want to try the deck out, actually, though, in the standard format, though, also. So I might be trying that out very soon. My opponent does, unfortunately, not... Ooh, they're going to judge me, though. Maybe I should play the Choice Band down. But Judge will help me out a little bit. Hopefully gives me something good. There's DCE, which is nice. We got Aqua Patch, too, so that's not bad. We didn't get a Supporter, though. We're a Crushing Hammer. Ooh, my opponent's going to spread out the damage. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what we can top deck. Another Choice Band. I should probably save those for Soleo GX, in case it feel bores me. I guess we're going to have to do this this turn. And then we'll attach here. This is kind of going to be the play. Um, I don't know. Hold on. Is this for the active? Okay, we're going to have to hit the others. We're going to have to hit this guy then. Well, actually, Cosmo is on a metal type, right? Okay, my I misread that. I thought it was just... I don't know. Whatever. I'm an idiot. Probably should hit the Cosmo M, but it's fine. Thankfully, though, we can knock this thing out next turn. We will have quite a bit of damage on us, but my opponent will knock me out. We'll see, though, they get Sogaleo GX. I'm sure my opponent's looking for it. Another Cynthia. Wow. They're hitting a lot of their supporters here, which is pretty scary. Another Cosmo going down. Do they find that Sogaleo GX? Miltank, too. Ooh. Miltank's big. I've seen combos with Miltank and Ultra Road. Because you can do, like, two Ultra Roads in a row. You can actually do some big things. So they're going to Shine Arrow me. They're definitely going to knock out my active. This is where N would be nice. So they will KO me. They'll take their two prizes. It's going to be a bit of an uphill battle. We do not get the big threat in play, though, which is good. I guess they can bring out Mill Tank and then heal whatever we hit. Oh, we topped up Lele, which is pretty nice. The Lele draw is really good, actually. Um, I'm probably going to play the Choice Band here. We'll put Eevee down. I spin out the deck. Sycamore would be amazing. I might judge them. I could also do Cyrus... But they'd only put back Sogaleo and probably the Cosmo. There's no point. So we're going to judge them. We're only getting four, but we got to decrease the odds of them against Sogaleo. I know Heavy Ball's not in the format. The only way to do it is with Timer Ball. So we got another Aqua Patch. We got Team Skullgrim. We got Guzma. There we go. We're getting some good things now. And we will Frost Bullet knock him out. I mean, I might as well hit the Mill Tank. He's probably going to build him. He's probably going to bring up the Mill Tank most likely. So we'll just knock out that. Uh, so glad. we'll take our prize. Peking red card. Okay, that's not bad. We'll have to see. We can, like, rejudge them with that, potentially. We'll have to see. My opponent didn't bring out the Cosmog. Oh, wow. I judged them into Sogaleo. My luck in this match has been pretty bad. Oh, boy. We're in trouble now. I think we'll lose, because he's able to put enough energy in play, I think, to build up Krona Impact. I mean, this is a pretty awkward matchup for me because he's playing a metal deck, obviously. I don't know. I feel like if we were able to get some early frost splits off, it would have been okay. Because this this Sogaleo hit me pretty hard. And then I had to deal with the, um... Okay, no, only two energies. Okay, so maybe we're okay. We do find it. Okay, that's pretty good. I have to hit the active, though. Though I could knock out the mill tank. I think we have to hit the active. I might do Team Skullgrun. He's only got three cards, though. But if I can get the energy out of his hand, but he can always do Radiant Star. But I can always Polar Spirit, so... I guess we Team Scarver on him? That, okay, that was an amazing decision. That was an amazing decision. Okay, well, Frost Bullet my opponent. My opponent's surprised, like, oh no. I might as well hit the other Cosmo. Spread out the energy so he doesn't have one Pokemon to heal with Mill Tank if he ever brings it out. Sadly, we're only doing 60. However, if we can... We might be able to knock it. Wow, that top deck. Are you kidding? Yeah, top deck's Naranguru. Oh my gosh. That is insane. Sorry if you can hear my dog right now. So I should probably shut my door. Okay, that is luck on another level. Wow. They just got... Oh, they top deck Naranguru, and that Naranguru gives them the rare candy. That is dirty. That is really dirty. Okay, you know what? I thought after that Team Skullgrunt... We were going to be okay, potentially, if we can knock the Sogaleo out this turn, but... Judging from how insane that turn was for my opponent, I don't feel so lucky. Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to attack on this turn. We can Crushing Hammer. I don't know if that matters. So we can move all the energy, maybe. I don't know, he might be only playing 10 or 11. 
We're gonna have the aqua patch for now. This really sucks. Um, I'm probably gonna have to retreat into Glaceon too, as much as I don't want to. I can't let him retreat. I, I can do peek in red card. Take a peek at his hand. I hope I don't get if he has Guzma. Okay, he's got Hala. We just give him. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll give him a new hand of three. He has a Ranguru, but it's fine. Yeah, we'll just pass. Can't let my opponent um, Ultra Road. I was there. Yeah, we go in Ranguru, but like, no, that's a dumb idea because they will be able to get Ultra Road. They might be stuck in the active, which I hope is the case. We might. I mean, what my maybe plan is if I can draw into something, I can start spamming Crushing Hammers on this Sogaleo. If I move all the energy off of the board, he can't attach any, and then he can't get any back. That could be our win option, maybe. That might be what I'm gonna do here. I don't know. We do have the Guzma, so also if I want. I can knock this thing out right away. If I can if I can draw a energy and he doesn't feel blow me, I potentially can um, knock this out with Polar Spear, and then he loses that option to get the energy back. And if he's playing Rayquaza, we can maybe use Enhanced Hammer, depending if he is or not. My opponent doesn't grab anything. He will instruct for two. I'm sure if he gets Guzma, it's, this game's basically over. If he gets Guzma, the game's over probably. But if he doesn't get Guzma here, should be good. That's why I kind of picky red card him, but he had the Lele in his hand. He obviously couldn't play it, but, you know, we'll see. So he's going to put Cosmog down. Did he find a Guzma? He did not. So this turn is big. Can we find energy? We don't. I got to hold the hand then. Pretty bad hand. He's going to be able to keep instructing. I'm hoping that we just don't see a Guzma. So, you know, he hasn't played one yet, which is kind of the scary thing, and I'm assuming he's playing three. So... Let's see, that's a choice band. He's gonna be able to draw an extra card with a Ranguru. Next turn, we'll build an Ultra Ball, maybe thin out the deck a little bit. It's really all down to if you find Guzma. If you don't find Guzma, we might be able to just keep putting pressure on. I also want to find Crushing Hammer. Okay, that was a big. Okay, there we go. We are back in business. So we'll be able to Polar Spear knock him out. I would like to save Polar Spear for Sogaleo GX. But I can do it with this. He actually can, I guess, use Mill Tank to heal that, which is kind of annoying. But the main threat is we take off the Energy Retriever. And he's got 9, well, he's got 10 in the energy in the discard now. So this is big. I don't know, maybe, if I were to make any tweaks, maybe add another Lele. I don't know. But yeah, we are looking good. We took out his main Energy ret Retriever. He's got 10 in the, he might not have any energy left. I might be able to just stall him out with Frostbolt. My opponent says both play. I mean, this, this might have worked, guys. The plan might have worked. And if he gets any energy and pull... Okay, so I was like, oh no, but I still got lost though. What am I doing? I'm going crazy. Looks like my opponent's got another rare candy. Yep, rip. Alright, we'll have to see though. Can my opponent do anything about this? They actually brought out Sogaleo, so they're not going to bring out the mill tank. Which is interesting. I mean, we obviously could knock it out if he did bring it out, but I would have, maybe he would have thought maybe to bring out Mill Tank and then get the damage off, but it's fine. We do need to find our Field Blower, though, very soon. Pwn just puts down a Lele. They are going to haul up for seven. Again, I don't know what they could do. Like, Guzma could save them. Ooh, surprise face. We'll hit him back with one. Oh, Broken Heart. Oh. Oh. I mean, honestly, I could honestly just do this. I really want to. I could, but no, 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 it's fine. We'll, 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 we'll use this. Alright, so we see Ultra Ball. I mean, my opponent might be out of energy. And they're really low on cards, too. They are also very low on cards, so this could be good. If they have even one energy, it's not enough to save them. Like, the fact that we were able to take out that Sogalio is huge. My opponent, I guess they're thinning out their deck. They might have, oh, they got rid of a Guzma, too. That's a big discard. I mean, I don't know. My opponent's got the bling. Unfortunately, I got half the bling until until I get a second one of these. I need to get Secret of Christian Hammers. That's why I like pre-ordering a lot of these codes. We drew a Judge. It's kind of useless. I might as well just do Ultra Ball and thin out the deck a little bit. Grab the last Glaceon. I probably do want to find Guzma here, though, so I can take prizes. But uh, I don't see any point in judging him. I'm fine. I can just continuously attack him. And we'll probably just hit both Sogaleos. We're not doing a whole lot. We're only doing 60 damage, so... <sighs> We're four shot in the Sogaleo, but until we can find Field Blower, I'll wait on the Judge. So my opponent will do Hala. Hala make a dollar. I do have one Cynthia, so if I do Judge, I gotta hope to find Christian Hammer. Ooh, that was close. That's not a good sign. Ooh. 
Okay, well played. It's, I mean, they don't have any energies left. Oh my gosh, what? Wow, that, okay, okay. Okay, that, you know what? GG, GG, GG. I, 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 I'm speechless. I forgot about super boost energy. No. Oh, no, super boost energy. Just came out of nowhere. Oh, that was a good game, though. You know what? For a metal matchup, we came very close to being able to win. Now I do regret judging him, but maybe I would have judged him in a super boost energy. Oh, my goodness. That is insane. I did not see that coming at all. That really sucks. All right, well, I'll see you guys in a minute, and we'll see if we're going to find a second match or one doppel video. But that was a very good game regardless of what happens. See you guys in just a sec.